Hey Spotifyers, click or tap the banner to listen to today's All right. Love this music. Okay, there we go. Anyway, hello. I'm gonna turn this down just a bit. There we go. 
and I'm probably just going to mute the whole audio. So what's going on, everybody? My name is Kazfam. Welcome to the live stream. Sorry it took so long. We had a family call happen. Um, super excited. Uh, I need to take that call real quick. Okay, so you're probably wondering why I'm wearing this just real quick on a how to make thumbnails. So I'm not going to I'm just going to keep this intro very short. Um, I <laughs> I kind of got myself pretty good in the eye. Um, and it's pretty bad. And I just don't really want to be on camera like that because it's it's something no one needs to see. And you'd be like, oh, that's horrifying. And oh, my God, you know, <laughs> what is uh, what happened to you? And unfortunately, that's kind of like the price you pay when you. Um, how do I have readback fee? There we go. Um, that's kind of the price I pay when I go ahead and I'm creating these shorts for everybody. I ended up like whacking myself, which was funny during a <laughs> during a uh, little skit I was kind of putting together. Don't worry, we do have skits coming out. More skits coming out. We have. Um, a lot of things happening. We'll go into a Q&A live, which is going to be fun. I want you guys real quick, if you're new to the channel, hello. Uh, there's a community tab over there that I post stuff on the community. And I've asked uh, you guys to ask me questions that you would like to know to get me to know, uh, get to know me better. Uh, and I am doing this, how to make a thumbnail. And as you can see, that the thumbnail I use is pretty basic, right? Like that was just something spur of the moment. I said, you know, a lot of people don't know how to make GDF and thumbnails. And for instance, I'm going to show you guys this. Um, this is, uh, where's my camera? I didn't have everything set up, I guess. This is all of my stuff. Um, this is GIMP. This is the platform GIMP. I am gonna shut the camera off so you guys can just get the full outlook of what's going on. I still don't know why this isn't, um, no borders. We have to go to, yeah. Tactical difficulties, folks. Do not mind me. Anyway, so here real quick, I just want to show you guys something. Okay, this right here, literally, actually, you know what I could probably do? Hang on a second. I know what I could probably do. Welcome to the technical difficulties of my stream. I am your stream host. Uh, tube has been Carl um, going at it again. I should probably should have fixed this. This is kind of, again, like I said, I was not prepared for what in hell's name happened on my phone call. Um, everything's okay. Everyone is good. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know how to really put it. Uh, let's see. What do I, what do we do? Um, you know, that did not work. Okay. Um, if I just stretch this out a little bit, I feel like that's, a bit much, but you can kind of bring it down. So, uh, there we go. That that kind of works, and I'll explain exactly what I'm doing. There is some stuff that's kind of cut off here, but um, yeah, yeah. Maybe I can try to make this for y'all. You know, I think that looks fine. Okay, so real quick, I'm gonna be a hundred percent honest with you guys. This right here, this right here. Okay, this thumbnail right here too freaking much i am tired of seeing people who create content that you guys have amazing videos and i love watching people who come to the channel and 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 you know subscribe to the channel and have a good time to the channel but come on if you're gonna make long forward content you have to have better thumbnails your thumbnails and your um Title must match there. Boom. Done. And alive. There you go. Your thumbnails, titles have to match. You have to do some research. I'm sorry. There is no physical way, no physical way for you to make a YouTube video without your thumbnails and title matching. And I'll tell you what, I looked at this video, uh, this thumbnail right here and I see captain underpants. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Ooh. What, like what Roblox addiction? I, I, I don't know anything about Roblox too much. I try to stay away from it, but like you got Captain Underpants, you got a fidget toy. What, 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 is, what is Bad Neighbor doing? This is what we call way too much. There's too much going on. You need to make simple, easy, get the point across with the title thumbnails. And I, and I think anyone can agree with that. If you're new to YouTube, that's just it. This is too much. This is too much. Now, and these are just examples. These are nothing I put together. This is literally, you can just go research really bad thumbnails and this just pops up. So research everything. Um, this is another one, how to make thumbnails. 
how to make thumbnails. You, you, you did this weird, I don't even know what this is, little darker, grayer blur. I do like the fact that you have a blur, but maybe it's a little too blurry. But how is Roblox showing me how to make thumbnails? Like, like, are you are you playing Roblox while making a thumbnail? Are you do you have is this a PNG? Is this a uh, what do they call them? VTubers? What is going on here? Like, what is going on here? I have no idea. This is this is too much. This doesn't really tell me. Hey, this is how you make a thumbnail, or hey, this is interesting. Like, I didn't. I wouldn't even click on this. One, because I'm just not a huge fan of Roblox. I don't understand it. I don't get what's with Roblox. Maybe I should try it before I hate it, but I just don't like Roblox. All right. Now this, this right here, I'm not going to say all my stuff is golden. This is what I did a long time ago when I started doing thumbnails. The, <laughs> the things I did here are simple. I grabbed a quick screenshot of the um, bridge of Azeroth. I play a lot of World of Warcraft. If you haven't checked out the World of Warcraft stuff, this, we're actually going to be doing another live playing World of Warcraft, which is fun. Um, we're going to be playing Death Knight. We're going to be playing Wrath of the Lich King. And I just grabbed a quick screenshot of the back of the bridge of Azeroth going right into Stormwind. Um, I took a screenshot of the priest in the new Dragonfly area where they show their abilities through literally just took some gold, grabbed some treasure stuff, cut it all out, put it down below and literally had the title how to make easy gold in World of Warcraft. And by the way, if you haven't checked that video out, you should definitely do that. Um, that really does go over some cool things, how to run the auction house. And I love it. Uh, I was actually very proud of that video for some reason. And the thumbnail, again, it could use some work. So today, what are we doing today? Well, I'm going to show you how to use GIMP. We're going to make the thumbnail for the Wrath of the Lich King live, which will be fun. This is our Death Knight. I'm playing as a Blood Elf, Blood Death Knight, because they have a great arcane, with arcane, an arcane explosion, but um, their arcane ability of the, of the racial trait, you know, you can really grab mobs, and we're just going to be leveling up a Death Knight up to level 80, as well as our one tap pally, or our one buddy, button macro pally that we're going to be playing with as well. Uh, we have a few things, and, and again, this is all for sure. So the first thing you want to do is you want to download GIMP. Where can you download GIMP? Well, you can either type GIMP, G-I-M-P, in the search bar. You might want to be careful what comes up, <laughs> but you'll see GIMP. It has a little fox face with a brush in its mouth. I also linked the website where you can download it down in the descriptions, um, as well as the music that you guys were listening to, to the live. Uh, that is on Spotify. That is from our wonderful um, uh, gaming community slash site community of um, uh, Senpai Gaming, which is really cool. He made some copyright free music uh, for us to use, uh, for everyone to use during the streams. And as long as it doesn't get copyright claimed, hey, I'll keep using it. So this is the first time I'm actually be using it. So again, like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and turn my camera off. Okay. And uh, I'm also, real quick before I do that um, and again the only reason behind the camera or the reason why the camera is off is just because if you again if you did not see and you're still sitting here you can see my eye is pretty heavily bruised uh, as you see the wow you can really see the oh my god you can really see the difference and I'm kind of just wearing this just so I can in interact with you guys and I just don't like too much but my face will be on camera uh, nine times out of 10. Anyway, so yes, how to make a thumbnail. First step, go to the description, download GIMP. GIMP is a free software to use. It's really uh, nice. It is easy to, I mean, it has some learning curves to it, but it is easy as heck to go ahead and use in our um, nowadays thumbnails. And as well as your, if you're new to YouTube, I mean, this is this is amazing to use. Ah, there we go. Okay, I can take my stuff off and talk normally. This is amazing to use. I love using GIMP. GIMP was easy for me to follow along with and go through. So the first thing you're going to do is when you download GIMP is you're going to go to file, you're going to go to new. We're not going to restart this because then I have to pull all my files back up. Um, and there's certain stuff you don't want to see in there. Um, and you can create a template if you want to. I kind of just go off image size. Uh, we're using a 1920 by 1080 pixel. Okay, and once you hit OK, it's going to go ahead and bring it up uh, this this canvas. Of course, you can change the canvas over here. I kind of like a black canvas because it is easier for you know me to see uh, if I'm using whites and we got a lot of stuff we can cut out here and what it's going to initially 
uh, look like. Um, and you don't really need any special tools. You just need a good steady hand. And I'm using, you'll, you'll actually see me uh, bounce between my um, mouse and my pen. The other thing you want to go ahead and get, and I'm just going to go ahead and tell you guys this is, uh, I bought this forever ago for my wife. <laughs> this is called a Wacom. 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 Uh, this is a, a small, like it's very small. Um, this is a drawing pad, and this is what I use for most of my editings when I want to use a pen and when I want to use my mouse. Uh, of course, I got my wonderful gaming setup here, so I can use, um, I, I just use the mouse without a mouse pad so I don't have much to move just up the keyboard. So once you go ahead, if you got a Wacom uh, or Wacom, Wacom, however you say it, um, you'll actually start to see that here I'll, I'll go ahead and I don't even have it on the board yet and I can move. That is my pen. Um, allows me to get in some really nice uh, movement and that is my mouse. I can, I really use that for pinpointing stuff um, and it does happen. You're going to hear a lot of clicks. You're going to hear a lot of scratchy it's perfectly fine. So with that being said, we are going to go ahead and go over uh, what to do, what not to do. You'll see that this is actually, sound like I'm in a tunnel right now. Ah, stay here for the most important part because when we're doing this, this is going to take a bit. And because we're doing this, cheers to y'all. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right. So you download a GIMP. You got this open. What do you do? Well, like I said, you're going to go over to file. You're going to go over to new. And you're going to go ahead and start um, making your images. And when you go to new, like I said, we're doing a uh, 1920 by 1080. I'm sorry for rambling. I got a lot of stuff going on right now and I'm trying to focus. Uh, 1920 by 1080 pixel. Uh, and then you're gonna go ahead and hit okay and it'll pop right up. To pull your images, now this is what I suggest. You can either do two things, okay? You can either take screenshots, um, like this was from uh, Legion. This is from a dungeon. Um, Actually, if I remember correctly, I think this is from uh, Karazhan uh, in the Legion format. And I just thought this looked so beautiful. Mine is my character down here. But I thought this looked so beautiful. And I was like, you know what? I have to I have to take a snap at this. So I just took a, a quick screenshot, put it into paint, trimmed it down. This is what I got. Um, this is Plague Lands. Since we're doing a Wrath of Lich King death knight i thought oh we got to get plague lands so i took my character i got him up on a high point uh, one character i have uh, my level 70 uh took it over to the plague lands kind of got him up high and just kind of took a i can get another screenshot of this and i think that came out really really nice um things to remember is you can also like pull stuff like the wrath of the lich king logo which we're going to use we're going to cut out all this black should not take very long and I also do want to remind you guys, simple is best. Like, it's just easier to put your, your point across. I think if I said we're going live, like for the next live, and this is for the next live. If I put live, you know, or I want to do a long form content and I grab stuff and I say, oh, this will be, you know, um, Wrath of the Lich King, Death Knight Edition, leveling, solo leveling, whatever you want to put it. It's just easier. Wrath of Lich King, Death Knight Edition. We can put that, we can put text, we can do all that. And I'll show you how to do that. But you want to get your images first. You can either do that by downloading, saving images, screenshot. I took a screenshot of this, screenshot of this, screenshot of this. And as you can see, I'm only working with four images. I'm only working with four images here. And that's it. I could work with more. You know, I could work with maybe getting like the Wrath, uh, Warcraft, the big W logo for, um, Wrath of the Lich King there. I should put my camera on real quick because it's just easier than bouncing back and forth. But I'm just going to work with four images. Simple. We don't want that mess that we saw in the beginning. It looked like trash. We don't even actually, I'll even show you real quick. We'll actually pull those up. To pull an image up, you're going to go to file. You're going to go open. Okay. And this is mostly where most of my stuff is saved. You can go to pictures. Uh, you can choose from save photos to camera roll. Um, you know, like I have Plague Lance here, I have the Wrath, you just name it. Uh, stuff from Mari's room that I was doing. Ooh, I do miss that. Um, 
and there's the wow png sticker if i wanted to use it but i figured like that was too much like i looked around i i see what other people are doing like i even have this wonderful arthas helmet uh, i actually just kind of like that so i just kind of took it um saved my stuff um from having here i'll even open this up real quick uh, this was after doing the final classic thing with my demon hunter. I said, Ooh, I got to sit on that throne, you know, so I just sat on the throne, but really at the end of it, you will see, and I'm going to try to see if I can find where I put, uh, okay. It's not in this one. Remember where you put stuff. Remember always where you put stuff. Oh, here we go. This guy. This right here, I'm going to use this example. Again, this is too much. People, this is too much. What are you doing? I'm sure the gameplay was awesome. And I'm sure the caption was great. What are we doing? This is too much. You got so much stuff. You got, like, how is Hello Neighbor? You're telling me you got Captain Underpants, Roblox Edition. Okay, but why do you have... Uh, me uh, uh mini amis or i forget what they used to be called from the um uh, nintendo wii wii minis i guess is what we call why what, what's with the toilet what, what's with the professor captain underpants i get it. like that's fully like why why do we have a kid with fidget spinners and sharks and bad neighbor what is with this image I cannot be blind here, folks. I mean, I kind of am. Again, if you haven't seen, I kind of hurt my eye. But I am not blind here, folks. I, I, I just see this as, like, what is this coming across as? Garbage. And that's what I'm seeing it as. Now, I'm not going to say I'm going to be, you know, doing the best. But, hey, this kind of gets you set. So, don't be like this. This is too much. Too much. You could probably have gotten away with captain underpants and i'm assuming this is the principal from captain underpants i never really watched the movie i love the the head <laughs> captain underpants you know forming your face that's always good reactions are always fun you could really have just taken this probably cut captain underpants off at the knee keep the toilet and the principal fine but this garbage you didn't even know like hello neighbor like wh what do we got here we got captain underpants hello neighbor sign right what is going on? This is too much. You have like two, three, maybe possible thumbnails in this thumbnail itself. Why are we doing this? Why are we doing this? Keep it simple. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and we're going get, to get started. So where do we get started? So now we, we pull the file. This is just going to be, you're going to see the difference from this and just using basic, easy stuff. Uh, Jimmy, aka Mr. Beast, said in a video with uh, an interview with YouTube, a cre um, I kind of forget what his name was, but he was a, he was the guy in charge. Most of the guys in charge of YouTube. He was the one who built the algorithm. He said, before he makes any content, he thinks of two things: a thumbnail and a title. That helps him get creative. When he comes with a thumbnail and a title, video is just easy to make because you can just put a camera in front of you, run some shit, and that's it. So. Why aren't we following that example too? Why aren't we going back to basics? And why do we have to have these big things? Uh, top creators do the same thing. They take an image, they take maybe an image of themselves, an image of what's going on, and it comes across that they're playing a game. It's really easy, or they're doing something, or cooking. And so just stop doing these ridiculous, over the top thumbnails. There, there, I said it, I'll put it out there. I'll be the bad guy for this. We're also going to be editing this whole live just to let you know. But hey, if you want to ever come join me on live, just hit the follow button um, or subscriber button. All right. So once you get your images, you got your you, you got your new template. You got all your images up there. They're also down here. This is your library. This is your history. It's really fun. Uh, the first thing I like to do is I like to go over to the magnifying glass and hit zoom out. And oh, that's zoom in. Uh, okay. Let me recorrect myself. Zoom out. And I kind of put myself over here. Now, the reason you want to do this is because I keep it on zoom out because eventually you got to think and about the size of a phone is about this size. I want to make sure that my imaging comes off pretty clear um, in the small format as well as the big format. If you showed me this and you had that, I want to know what the fuck is going on in this part of my language. I want to know what the heck's going on in this. So <laughs> you got your format here. The first thing we need to do is create a new layer. You're going to go over to the background. You're going to right click. Uh, I do this all by mouse. This is just easier. Uh, and I'm going to create a new layer. 
doesn't really matter. I have the image. You just have it as image. It doesn't really matter. You don't got to worry about, you don't have to mess with any of this. Like none of this, just make sure your width and height are correct. So we still have a 1920 by 1080. Uh, we're going to hit okay. We're going to get this nice. If I next this, we're going to get this nice checker piece. Like we're going to be playing chest uh, motion. And I kind of use that again as a secondary background with my, my black background, because then I can see what has been used if I need to take out anything. Um, so I use both. Once we create that new layer, then we're going to go ahead and take out. I like to start with the background first. I like to take the first as much as I want to take this it has nothing to do with wrath of the Lich King. Um, plague lands have always been, you know, huge. So I'm going to take this playground plague lands. I'm going to go up to select. I'm going to hit select all. I'm going to go to file and I'm going to go, Oh, sorry. Edit, not file correction, edit. I'm going to go to copy, go back to the first template, go back to edit and hit paste. And there you can see I have my plague lands. Now it is not big and that's okay. That's perfectly fine. If you go up to this top left corner, you're going to see this. It's called the scale tool. If you hold it down, it'll let you choose from uh, unifying transformation, rotation, scales, shearing, flipping, perspective, 3D transformation, and handle transformation. I just want to go to scale. All right. We're going to keep it very simple. Now, when you scale, you want to be slow with it in a sense. Like you don't want to go like, oh, because you're going to throw everything off. Uh, you can kind of go to the center. You can go to the sides if you want to. I kind of like going to the center because then I can just kind of drag where I want this to be. And you kind of see this border here. And that's kind of cool where you'll actually see like what it what what is going to be in your images. And I like having a couple pine trees, this big giant mushroom. And we're just going to take it from there. I'm going to hit scale. And it scales it just like that. Now, before we even process, you can kind of see that we have little like clippets. This is called what's uh, two. This is a double layer. What we want to do is want to right click, go to new layer and it adds it in perfectly fine. If we want to drag this image anywhere, we can just go ahead and hold the left trigger or left click and we can just go ahead and place it anywhere. So I can place it behind. I can place it above we want it above and make sure when you're doing anything, you kind of keep you, you're, you're clicked on it because if I click this, I'm not even going to be able to touch or resize or reimage any of this. So now you got a background. Okay, cool. We got a background. All right. You know what they say? Like throw some, throw it in a, a haunted location, throw some shadow people and then put a caption of me and the boys at three in the morning looking for beans, you know, like that's what you want, right? A nice, easy go lucky. I have a hair in my mouth. <laughs> the downside of having a beautiful beard that you can't show right now because my face got fucked anyway. So uh, I'm going to get demonetized real quick with all oh, swearing. <laughs> It's okay. I'm a soldier. Anyway, so now we got the background. That's the toughest part right there. That's the toughest part. It's patience. That's the rest of it. Just patience. Okay. So we got this background. We're going to go ahead and go over here to our left top side again. And this is really where all your tools are at. This is everything you're going to need. If I want to put text, I can go to the, you know, the text tool. If I want to make the image blurry, I go to the blur. If I want to like smudge it like you would with, um, um, clay and uh, charcoal, I can go to a smudge tool as well. But I'm going to go to the blur tool. And the first thing you're going to see is you're going to see this giant circle. I don't know if you guys can actually see that, but you're going to go to this giant circle. Actually, hang on one second. Let me zoom in real quick. So, whoa, too far in. Um, smudge. So you're going to go to the smudge tool. Smudgies. It's always fun. Um, you know what? I'll put some music on real quick. This is, I need to feel inspired. Inspired. Can we, can we just go back to the top? Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna there we go okay so now we have a little bit of music in the background making this a more chillax lo-fi vibe okay so anyway so yeah so we have our wonderful background here again guys it's it's super easy uh, once you get the background, what I suggest is you go to blur. Now, I don't want this. This isn't really what I want. I want to show that we're playing um, our Death Knight 
in this form around because you do start in the eastern plague lands if i remember correctly um for this uh up on this top left corner right here this first bar this is sizing you i what this does is it makes the circle that you just saw it makes it either really small or freaking huge you always want to make sure you're on the correct layer when you're doing this and uh yeah you don't really got to really mess around too much i like my spacing when it comes to blurring a bit bigger because then i can see where i'm going um down below you'll see quality weight uh you know i don't need it really sharpened i do want my rate to go up to about 81. um spacing don't care angle don't care aspect ratio don't care sizing again sizing will kind of take it down to 313. uh I like to be force up to 100%. And what I'm gonna just do, like I said, this is this is already on the image. I'm gonna take my little pen here and I'm just gonna small circles. I feel like Bob Ross right now. On today's episode, we're gonna build a nice white cascading mountain. Ah, oh, I've seen so much powder in your life. Don't gotta worry about too much of these skies right here because they're already kind of blurred. But like I said, I wanna get that image just a little blurry don't gotta really go too hard with it yeah i'm definitely feeling like bob rice right now i don't have my afro wig um <laughs> i wear i wear a gray wig i don't wear an afro wig i should probably get an afro wig um so yeah we're definitely gonna get this nice and just a little bit blurry like i said we don't really want it too too blurry like you see you know in the backgrounds of some places you don't want to see it way too blurry but i definitely want to get some uh get some blurriness kind of going on uh and this is just what i mean by patience you just got to look at it and go it from there uh yeah i can take a little bit can take a little while but you can kind of see i mean it is getting a little bit blurrier and i'm kind of just going over um slowly now if i take my mouse and i do this you can kind of see it like get smaller don't know why the mouse does that um i know when i use a uh, wacom it just works it just works okay now i'm gonna go our harness is all the way up um if i bring my focus down ooh, whoop, 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 where we are i'll bring my focus down just a little bit give it some nice and it's all just playing around with it guys it's all just playing around with it smooth strokes yep Oh uh, yeah. Oh yeah. I don't know if you can see it on the screen right now, but it definitely is blurring up, and that's what I love. All right. Like I said, this is a quick, easy how to make a thumbnail. Just go to the description below. Like I said, go download GIMP. Um, not sponsored. Just to let you know, I do this for y'all. All right, all you people out there. You know. They say kindness is the best thing you can do. And listen, I'm tired of seeing a uh, piece of trash uh, thumbnails. And listen, if you're talking to a guy who literally has no artistic skill to tell you your stuff's trash. Yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and make that sharpened. There we go. What if I took the, what is it? I don't remember what the rate does, but we'll just max it all out. Actually, yeah, that'd be a thing. Let's just max all this out. Oh yeah. <laughs> what happens if we just do this? Hang on one second. I just want to see what happens. Oh my gosh. I guess that kind of works. Max it all out, maximum effort. Okay, I think I've blurred this quite enough. It is definitely blurred. So we're good on the blurriness. Now, the next thing you do is we got to get the next image over. Which, again, is just follow these lines. Excuse me. Ah, uh, there we go. Um... The next thing I want to do is I want to get the Death Knight over, and this should be a lot of fun. So we don't need to be on that. I'm just going to go back to the grab tool. 
And all I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hit select, select all, edit, go back to copy. Okay, go back to our original images, edit, paste. All right, now we got our wonderful Death Knight guy here. It doesn't matter where we were going to put him. Uh, and just make sure you add him to a new layer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the background. And uh, I'm definitely going to blow this up. So I'm going to go back to resizement. And oop, I kind of want to blow him up a bit. All right. And I'm going to blow him up quite a bit just so I can see maybe where I want him. And I think that's that's fair. I think what I might do is just take the imaging from here. I'm going to scale it. Okay. Hit scale. Make sure you always hit scale. Okay. And this is where the fun part comes in. Cause now we're going to erase. Okay. Um, and of course I'm going to reset everything. Oh, 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 oh. I kind of don't use your wheel. All right. And when I erase stuff, it just all erases. Again, I can use my happy go lucky whoa happy go lucky um mouse or i can use my wacom now here's the thing if you use a mouse or a wacom and you have it down and i'm just going to take this off for a second and you make a mistake all right if you hit control z it'll get rid of the mistake but let's just say i start racing i go oh no i hit that it erases all that that i just did so just be careful where you're going ahead and place in the mouse now you don't have to do erasing if you don't want to. Um, I just find erasing a lot of fun, like just sitting here with all my time that I have. But what we can also do is we can uh, cut out images. And what we can do is what's called the lasso tool. And you can't miss it. It is literally called the free select tool or the lasso tool. It looks like a lasso. It's in your top left corner. Um, you're going to click that. And what you can do is you just kind of grab and trace around and just make sure you connect it uh you can go to edit you can go to control x or you can hit cut uh, and it cuts that image right out makes makes things a little bit easier and then you just go to select and none and you can just keep doing that so this is where i like to zoom in on my my guy um and what i'll do is i will whoop, let me zoom out just a little bit don't need to be that close go back to the lasso tool and i will get kind of close um and i will just mess around like this and kind of like trace it around um the other thing you can do is he doesn't really need that eyebrow uh the other thing you can do is um, let me go here. You can actually hold this down and you can grab it all and do the same thing. You can just hold down left click and um, <laughs> do the same thing. Wow, that looks weird. All right, so I'm going to click here, 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 here. Don't got to get too close to it. You know, again, that's where you're kind of like you're going to go into your eraser tool or you can still use the snippet tool. Um, You know, I think I'm going to get rid of his jacket. And I will get that. And then we will comb all the way over. I'm going to go off the page, up, over, here, and here. And we're going to control X. All right. And as you can see, we still have some more stuff going on over here. So I'm just kind of going to go, eh. Well, actually, yeah, there we go. I'm actually going to get rid of that with the eraser tool. And then same exact thing over here. I'll start here. I'll come in towards the muscles. Um, for you guys who don't know, uh, I have been playing World of Warcraft since uh, what I thought was 2005. And I was mistaken. Um, I actually started playing WoW in 2007, 2006, 2007. And it was a family game that I used to love playing with my folks and my siblings. Um, like I said, you can just go back to the eraser tool. Oh, yep. Yeah, select none. Make sure you get select none. And then you just kind of erase all this. 
uh, there will probably be stuff that is going to be um, up because we still have imaging that's above this area and below this area. So if you move your guy, you know, just it, when we move our guy, he's going to, you know, pretty much get cut off to the whole uh, section. So I'm going to downgrade our our um eraser here and we're gonna go in through with the racing so this is where like again you gotta focus it's it's time worthy it doesn't really it shouldn't take you that long um but yeah if you're starting out it, it definitely oops see i already made a mistake that's why i like using my um if you're gonna start using the uh tool definitely i would recommend starting the black zone because then you're not gonna make the careless mistake i made um but yeah, no, I played World of Warcraft since 2006. Uh, I started off as a Night Elf for the Alliance. And then when Blood Elf started coming out, I started using a, um, oh, what was he? A Blood Elf Warlock. I was a Demonologist Warlock and I loved how he ran. Um, but so sad to say, that we are actually going to be giving up on <laughs> world of warcraft uh the expansion was great loved it loved every second of it um but i just can't do um any more wow and you're just going to flip flop just so we're clear you're just going to flip flop between uh i like to get nice up close and personal so i can see what i'm doing and you're just going to flip flop between uh selective sizes and the eraser tool again you can use the lasso if you want to i should think i'm going to get rid of his his one his his eyebrows because that's the one thing i always thought was weird that they have eyebrows sticking out um so what i like to do for sharp corners uh is i will go to the lasso tool um, and I will like pinpoint and like that looks good. Like I said, you don't have to make it look perfect. It doesn't always have to be perfect. You know, they're not going to like, no one's going to zoom in on your image and be like, oh, he cropped out this. Like no one's, no one's really going to do that. It might take a look at that eyebrow though. You know what? Let's just get rid of the whole ears. <laughs> Screw it. Just get rid of the ears. Um, I'm going to go here. And I'll just hit Control X and none. And I will drag and drop him here now, that's the fun part about art or doing this i wouldn't even call this art is that you can just let your imagination kind of run wild and that's what i love have some fun do your thing um but yeah our wow days are kind of coming to an end i am going to be uh giving up on world of warcraft only because i just want to focus on more games and that's how I feel like I can really focus is is doing more games uh, other than World of Warcraft. So I canceled out my subscription. As there's an applause, I love it. I canceled out my subscription to Warcraft. Woo! Uh. Hold on one second. See if I can focus. 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 Really gonna make these shoulder pads look like not ate up garbage, but they are gonna be spike A. And you can kind of see I looks like I kinda took off some of the shoulder pad itself. So I'll just kind of bring this down. Um well, I mean, it kind of gives it some flavor, I guess. Um, we'll take it here and then we'll bring it out over up. I really want to get these images 
out of here. And oh, music, music's back on. I don't know why the heck the music was off. All right, and we're gonna do that. And you can kind of see there's still some blue. That's okay. Uh, we're gonna scroll down. We're gonna do his arms. Um, you can get close to the skin. Again, it doesn't have to be correctly done the first time. I kind of like to follow a little bit, few inches into the skin. Um, and you just take it little by little. And if you do mess up, you can take these uh, circles and you can actually move them, which is my favorite part of this whole tool. Um, and yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and crop this right out and we'll continue on with what we got. You know, I hear people all the time um, tell me, they're like, yeah, I'll, I was gonna get um, somebody on Fiverr to do my stuff. And it's like, why are you wasting the money? Like, if I can do this, you can do this. This is not hard. It just takes what we, what I try to get my five-year-old to understand. And that is patience, patience, knowing that you're going to be able to, you're going to be, you're going to mess up a few times. It's perfectly fine. Everyone does. Um, and the other bit, you just have to say to yourself, you know what? I'm very proud how that kind of turned out. And as long as you say, Hey, I'm proud the way that turned out. Everything else is Gucci. People still say Gucci. I don't know. Comment down below. Do we still say Gucci in this world? All right. He's going to get a little bit anorexic here on us, but that's okay. And just make sure you always choose, you know, not to have your stuff showing again. A little bit of blue is still showing. We'll go back and clean them up. It's too easy. And we will grab it here. Grab it here. Grab it here. Looks like it comes in down around uh looks like we're just gonna try to make a similar image cut off some of his thumb <laughs> i killed him man with this thumb what movie reference is that oh thanks virus protection you just scared the hell out of me nice to know my computer's safe though but you scared the hell out of me all right, and we're gonna go back into here. Uh huh. On a tour of All right, and I'm gonna take off some of his cloak, which is perfectly fine. And we'll just up a day and up a day and cut all that out. And we'll move over here. And I'm going to start on his robe and I'm going to take it all the way up, kind of hemming it. You know, I'm no tailor. Uh, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't learn that profession, you know, when I first started. Um, but boy, I'm going to make his themes look good. You know, actually, I'll take that up. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. You don't have to be like, oh no, I messed up the imaging and now I got to go back. No, cut some stuff out. It's all good. Who cares? <laughs> And so at the end of the day, if you're happy with the, uh, you know, if you're happy with this, um, I just hope that people who watch this, if you're rewatching this, that you definitely do take the heart that, you know, you, you, you definitely have to do better on your thumbnails. And like I said, we're just working with simple, easy three, four images. Just like I said, what I have to teach my five-year-old daughter patience, right? patience I mean, I'm actually going to take this up some and just point these now I could just drag and drop but like I said I'm just doesn't have to be perfect take out some stuff bring this all the way here drag this all the way down where's the start line doop and doop and do and ta-da he is pretty much almost golden um I do want to try to see if there is some uh, some flavor I can go ahead and oh here we go. Now you just kind of clean them up. Um, you know nothing really too major. Like I said, 
Just kind of. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just kind of want to clean him up a bit. Make him look like he was back in Warcraft 1. Um, oh, looks like I missed the spot, which is okay. Remember what I said? Does not have to be perfect. Um, okay, now if I go back to this tool and I hit zoom out, you can see that he is very well cut cleaned. I love how he looks. Look at that beautiful, gorgeous boy. Oh. I'm going to marry him someday. Anyway, so we're going to go ahead and this is just like a little uh, back to resizing. Uh, we want to zoom out more. And here's why, because I'm going to take this little drag drop tool. And if you do the drag drop tool or the arrows, you know, make sure you actually click on the image because if you don't, you're going to grab another thing. And I'm just going to clean this up with the eraser tool. Uh, and I want the eraser size to be bigger so I can just ooh, look at that. Uh, don't make the mistake I made one day and grab the character with the eraser tool it did not work out for me uh and you're just gonna focus focus there we go and we're just gonna bring this in we're gonna focus all right we might have to get our lasso tool out for that um just for that little uh zoom in cool um lasso tool And there we go. And then we, so we do that. Look at that. All set. All right, go back and zoom out. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Faded encounters. Oh. Yes, daddy. Anyway. Well, this isn't marked for kids anyway. So it's all good. Gotta love my life. Okay, so now we're just gonna bring him over. We're gonna bring back our background. Yay, our background and our characters are here. Woo! And you just, you, it's easy to get rid of the background. Just hit that little eyeball and boom, it turns around. You wanna see if you messed anything? Um, what I would recommend is you just kind of take out these two and you look around. And if nothing looks like it's gone, bring back the background because you never know if there's little things in the, in the distance. Uh, and then take that and put it there okay um want to zoom out okay so my guy's pretty big my guy's my guy's pretty big and that's okay because i want him big because that will be seen oh okay if that that will happen if you click too many times okay um that's about the size of a phone okay so you can see the image of a death knight of some sort you know starting in uh so let's get this back image going or back the image and we're just going to kind of bring them over now for our next image this is the fun part <laughs> for our next image we're going to get the world of warcraft wrath of the lich king logo going on i chose this one it looks very cut very clean and it is really seeing what when you're going through images when you're googling images you really want to make sure when you're googling that you're using clean images you know what i mean if you don't know what i mean that's okay uh, clean images are looking like they just came fresh off the print. They don't, for most of you who are wondering why I'm turning off and turning on the camera is not to show you anything really. It's mostly because I'm taking a drink and like I said, if you're new, um, I hurt myself. Um, here, get a better imaging. I hurt myself pretty bad. Um, my whole eye is swollen. And doing this is why I have the shades on because the light is actually hurting my eyes. So I have my, I thought if I'm going to do this, I'm going to kind of go as, uh, and for those who have seen my, uh, sketches before you, if you don't know who this character is, uh, I'm Bishop. <laughs> I, I, I am dressed as Bishop in my videos. Uh, I have a couple characters that I play. Uh, I have, uh, Gen Z Karen, um, which is me in a wig with, a crop top hoodie always on. It's always a crop top. Does not have to be a hoodie. It's always a crop top. Gen Z Karen. Uh, I have Bishop. I have um, Murderous Hank, which is we haven't seen too much of Murderous Hank. Uh, we have Fred. If you haven't you haven't met Fred yet, Fred is my puppet. Um, Fred is actually going to be joining us in some skits and videos, which is really fun. I guess we'll we'll take a break here. Uh, you guys are doing great, by the way, if you're following along with this. So thank you. 
Um, I really do hope this works. So we're going to keep going with it. We're just going to take a quick break. Uh, just talk to you for a bit. Uh, we got a lot of things coming out that I just want to go ahead and tell you guys real quick about. Uh, we have our Versus series coming out, which is going to be cool. It's our ver podcast in a sense, um, where I talk to some friends over some discords and we talk about a lot of different things and we're calling it the Versus content. I am slowly working on a project for the content creator starter guide, which I think is going to be fun. Uh, I started three, almost four years ago, content creating over on Twitch. And then I came over to YouTube and I, that was the best decision I ever made, but there was a lot of things I didn't know. And I had to learn and I learned through trial and error. And I learned through other YouTubers and other content creators, as well as just doing my own thing. And so besides VidIQ, which can give you some cool, like ideas, um, it was definitely an honor to go ahead and, you know, um, do that switch even though i know it was hard and you guys have been fantastic thank you so very much um so like i said this is kind of like the start of it <laughs> how to start a thumbnail and i think a lot of people just don't know how to do it or if they do they end up with an example this look at this like again you end up with this when you don't know what you're doing you have too much stuff in here or not enough and for me we're just doing a simple easy thumbnail for wrath of lich king live that we're gonna be doing if you guys want to join me on that like i said subscribe to the channel come on over you see we have our banners here we have our alliance and horde uh banners going on until the room's fully set up so uh, link down in the description for GIMP, just to let you know, and as well as if you want to know the Spotify music you can use, uh, that is also in the description as well. So, okay, let's get back at this. So now we have the World of Warcraft, uh, Wrath of Lich King logo. Uh, definitely want to put that because that will tell um, what we are exactly playing. So we're going to select all, go back to our images. We're going to, oh, shoot, I messed up, excuse me. We're going to select all. We're going to copy, go back to original image, and we're going to paste. And I'm going to get this drag drop tool, and I'm going to drag and drop the World of Warcraft logo here. I'll remember that it is a floating style, so we are going to add it to a new layer. Oh, oh. Add to a new layer. I don't know why that did that. So now I'm going to delete a layer. If that happens, it's okay. Now, we're going to make sure we're on here. I'm going to take away my imaging. And because we have that background, I want to get the checkerboard. See, this is the important part. When you start doing these clip-its, you have something other than black background to tell you. Because if I have this black background and I can't see the difference. So if I take the black background out and I put the checkerboard in, I'll definitely have an easier time. Now, of course, yes, you can do it all from here if you wanted to. Um, but... I prefer to do it on the main thing itself. And another tip, guys, just to let you know, make sure you are saving this as. So I'm gonna put this as while well, live stream. Um, and I'm gonna save it. Just in case this crashes, you know, we're not gonna lose all our progress because it can happen. Maybe we can crash. Um, so let's zoom in on this image real quick. And this is gonna be an easy one. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get back our lasso tool. And like I said, we're going to go up. Uh, I want to keep the icicles because I think they look freaking awesome in Wrath. One of my favorite expansions. If you guys also didn't see the short that I came up with, with my reaction to getting invincible for the first time, um, that is up in the short category. So if you guys are interested in seeing my, well, I, I it's not really, it's a vocal reaction. Because one day I was sitting there going through old raids and I was like, oh, I guess I'll play rat. I think I'll go through Ice Crown. And I have been trying for Invincible for years. Let me know in the comments if you were, if you play World of Warcraft and you've been trying for Invincible, how long did it take you to get it or have you already gotten it? Because it took me over 10 years to get it. Like, that's dedication. And I think really that's really why I'm leaving World of Warcraft is because, like, that was the mount. Like, that was the... the you, you know bragging right mount to get when you belong to a guild or your you know um if you did some form of like or joining in group or something like that when it came to wrathalich king raid um so 
I mean, that was the mount everyone wanted. Um, I remember when it got put on the black market in WoW, um, that it was like everyone was fighting to bid for that thing, but it didn't feel the same. So I got mine finally through um, the Wrath of Lich King raid uh, after so many years. Uh, even zoomed in. This looks clean. I like this. Well, this is a good find. Anyway, so we're going to go ahead and clear up some of these images. And I'm actually think I'm going to use... Well, yeah, I'll still use the, the one tool. So we'll kind of clean this up a bit. Pablo Picasso once said, The good artist copy, great artist steal. Does that make me a great artist? Because I'm stealing the WoW logo. Well, I kind of, well, I'll come back in with a tool. Do do. I'll come up and we will. I'll kind of cut some of the ice out, but not all of the ice out. You know what I mean? Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just has to get done. There we go. All right. And I don't want anything other than that. Um, I know we have some black part right here. So I'm, uh, I'm going to zoom in again. And now you're starting to see like our pixels are really starting to get faded, which is fine. It's perfectly normal. Yeah. Um, no. All right. And we're just going to, like I said, remember, you can kind of go over the image perfectly fine to go ahead and cut some corners. There we go go to none and now we got to tackle this little hump um i don't know how we're gonna do yeah i do one gdf in step at oh, too far a time it kind of does make a round Uh, I'm trying to line this up. Okay, there we go. All right, and then we just drag and drop this right back. Ha And then if I select none, a little black's fine. How did he make his lines look so clean? The freaking one tool, Jerris, the one tool. That doesn't make any sense, Charles. Don't know what the hell I'm talking about. I guess that's the next skit right there. Um. And we'll just take this out. Uh, so yeah, we're pretty much going to have like a break on the skits only because I did hurt myself and I really did not like it. It was not a lot of fun. I pretty much, what happened was, is I, I, <laughs> I, uh, I have a metal rod. Don't ask questions. Okay. Don't ask questions. I have a metal rod or not a metal rod, wooden rod. I have a wooden rod. That even sounds more dirty. I have a wooden rod that I was using for one of the skits. And I kind of came up and smacked myself in the face um, when doing the skit to reenact certain things. And oh God, this just is just sounding dirty the more I'm thinking about it. What the hell? So not those kind of things. Get your mind out of the gutter. Anyway, I, uh, I was, I was reenacting um, 
the second part because if you guys don't know when i do skits like i am literally doing like six um six to eight one shots or, or not one shots but like six to eight shots of one thing and then nine shots of another thing then doing 12 more shots to kind of like do fill-ins if i think like oh this would have been funnier if i did this and um yeah let's just say i i may have stepped overboard on that god dang there's a hair in my mouth again ah um and have the stick kind of wallop back and smack me in the face <sighs> so let's just say that did not uh that did not that did not feel good no um all right so we're gonna this one's taking a bit looks like the imaging kind of stops there we'll kind of get those nice nice points Oh yeah, I'm gonna take some of this off, but that's okay. Shit, talking mushrooms. Uh, and that's what I mean, folks. You wanna watch where your hands are. Uh, I hit control Z instead of control C. So yeah, that, that, was, uh, that was a my bad. Uh, da, 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 da. Wrath of Lich King. My favorite expansion was this. Like, this is hands down still one of my favorite expansions. And the reason why is because, like, when I was starting to, when I really wanted to get playing World of Warcraft and when we were in Burning Crusades and Wrath came out, we literally had a competition in my house where our parents said the first person of 55 gets to make the new death knight who makes the first death knight because we all thought you could only have one death knight and we i remember my brother my older brother and i were like just fighting it actually made my younger brother stop playing because we were we were constantly hogging the computer because we we're like you know we need to make 55 first we need to make 55 first and you know we had two laptop or a laptop and a computer um but the computer ran better and longer so i remember we used to sit there my older brother and i and fight over the computer um to the point where one day i kind of forgot you know my brother had just gone off to college i was still in high school he was home on break i didn't think about it and i came back and my brother had his level 55 blood elf paladin uh, actually he had level 56 just to screw it in, in my throwing my face a little bit more um but I loved him dearly. I still love him today. Uh, and he ended up making the first Death Knight. And uh, I remember how disappointed I was because like, I remember staring at his Death Knight going, I really wanted to play a Death Knight. I really wanted to see what the content was like because I was all about the content, all about the content. And uh, I went on a different server and that's, again, you gotta think, I was like a young teenager back in the time um god i make myself sound old and i was like yeah i gotta i gotta really um gotta really uh stop aging myself there so uh, yeah i went back on a different server and when i was on a different server um i i went and looked at the death knight and what my death knight would have looked like i went into the creator mode and or the editing mode and I hit accept and it sent through the death knight on a different realm. And I was like, Oh my God, I ran downstairs. I'm like, you guys want to make great death knights. You can still do it. You just go to a different server. And, um, I was fine just swapping servers. Cause I just made my warlock, like didn't really care too much on them. Uh, I was pretty much trash when it came to that. So, all right. So yeah, so as you can see, we're kind of are just still clipping out the black images. Um, you know, again, it's patience, guys, patience. So, yeah, if you're doing this, um, good for you. Hopefully, you're a lot faster than me. Uh, I know I'm kind of talking. When I uh, when I do this, as you can hear, I just kind of put on some music. Um, and I think about the content, really. And I think, like, is this content really going to come out well? Should I research some more images? Um, is this really... Um, 
at the end of it, I'm going to say, you know, like if it was good, if it wasn't, you know, I'm really going to make these icicles look really sharp. All right. All right. So there we go. I think we can do this whole line part right here. So let's just go ahead and get it. Do, do. Yeah, just listen, like, just like easily listen to some Spotify music, play some, you know, get yourself in a good headspace, take your time. And like, when I do this, I research a title really well. Um, so when I'm ready to like start making the thumbnail, I already have in my head, like if someone said, oh, we need a, you need a thumbnail for, you know, um, wow content or roblox content i guess is what we'll 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 refer to you know you could just mention the game in roblox and as long as like you have like maybe the game up like the image an image of game or even if it's like a snapshot a screenshot or whatever of what's going on in the game i would just do that that would just be me like i would just take a screenshot i think i'm just gonna i would just take a screenshot and Take it from there. Oh, you should tell my ears are getting red. Oh, okay. Um, and you know, maybe my Roblox character, if it was me, but again, I don't play Roblox. And the reason I don't play Roblox is not because it's, it's bad it's just i don't know something about playing like lego giant lego characters i hear it's actually kind of enjoyable but like my for you page i think it's because my brother plays it and i i wanted to learn what roblox was um i like got my whole entire for you page kind of swamped with roblox and it's not that i hate it it's just yeah i don't know what i don't like seeing though is the fact that i get some people who make content with Roblox and like it has like Roblox characters dancing and it's usually like some young kids channel and I don't know why it's recommending me these channels um because maybe they play Roblox and that's probably why I'm seeing it um but it's just so like why how do you look at your like how can you look at it and say that's that's glory content I mean I'm not saying my content is glorified content Lord knows I have my ups and downs but I at least put effort and I actually look at my stuff and say, is this really worth um, posting? Should I actually be doing this? What can I make it better? Or, or if I find a video that I'm like, yeah. All right. So right there, what I just did is hang on one second. I made a mistake. So I just kind of brought it. I held down left click and I kind of just brought it back and adjusted and you of course can do that before, even if you have the image capped, you can even do that beforehand just to make some small um, minor adjustments. But remember, you don't want to do too many adjustments. Oh, you know what? I kind of forgot what cut was. <laughs> control, K, control X. Okay. And then we will select none. We'll go back here. Let's zoom out. All right. How's our imaging looking now? See, look at that. That's beautiful. My God. Our icicles look a lot sharper, which I love. And the sides look really good too. So definitely, yeah. Yeah. And then we'll just kind of throw in our content here. Again, we're going to zoom out, get ourselves back, back in center. Okay. Back in center and take it from there. Um, so this is way too big. This is, this is like way too big. So we're going to go back to our scaling, make sure you click on the proper image and we're just kind of going to bring them back in. Okay. Uh, you can also drag and drop this image anywhere you want. I think the Lich King thing should go right here. Actually, I'm probably going to bring it up just a little bit over. And now we have Wrath of Lich King right here. Um, and then what else you can do is you can kind of like click on this background. Oh, 
scale, of course. Uh, click on this background. That's kind of what it's giving you right now. It's kind of giving you that, uh, like, this is this is it. This is Booyah. Um, I do love, we could have probably had gotten into a Death Knight and, like, made him hold a sword or anything else like that and took a quick snapshot of that. Um, but you see how, like, basic this is. Like, look, it's World of Warcraft, Wrath of the Lich King. You got the Death Knight. It's not looking like this. It's looking like this. And of course, make sure you're filing, you're saving, just in case something crashes. GIMP will crash eventually. Late if you are like on this for hours and hours and hours and hours. Like if you're making like bank doing this, because believe it or not, there are people who will pay you to do uh thumbnails over on Fiverr. Like people you can make thumbnails. And you see how easy this is? You get an idea. Okay, I'm gonna play this is my this is my idea. I'm gonna play a death knight. A Blood Elf Death Knight. Well, first off, I said I'm going to play a Death Knight. What Death Knight should I play? And I said I played Holy and Frost so many times. On Holy and Frost, I'm just kind of tired of playing. I said, I want to play Blood. Let's play Blood. Not really a huge tanky person, but let's play Blood. Okay, we're playing Blood. Blood Death Knight. Blood Death Knight. Okay. Research what classes have the best racial aspect for Blood. And that pretty much came back to Blood Elves. Blood Elves have a great racial aspect um because they have that arcane explosion type thing that kind of like draws enemies near and it helps you build up that um change the music what is going on with music today marshmallow pie that sounds like fun well, i want to play that song but i got a lot of uh what other songs they got I guess we played Marshmallow Pie already. Uh, there we go. When I was younger. Okay. Um, just got to listen to some good vibes, man. Got to listen to some good vibes. Anyway, so... Um, but yeah, I said, what do I want to play? Okay, we're going to play a Blood Elf, Blood Death Knight. This is going to be great. Now what do I got to do? Well, okay, I'm playing a Blood Elf blood death knight not really blood anything blood around here didn't really want to add any red or anything like that because you know maybe i'll change my mind but i'm playing as a death knight i'm playing world of warcraft that is it wrath of the lich king i could put classic down here if i wanted to because it's no longer called wrath of the lich king's called wrath of the lich king classic but it still gets the image of cars that i'm playing this now we're gonna add some text now to add text all right you can kind of choose your own flavor play okay whatever you want um I'm going to add text and I'm going to add, just click this little A button. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to draw a box. And that box is right here. Okay. And then inside here, I'm going to have some white lettering. Here's actually a fun fact. If you use white lettering, people will read it more. And I think a title like, um, let's play blood elf death Knight could be one of them. I mean, something easy um reminiscing on the past with a dk uh dk these nuts you know like <laughs> really whatever is gonna really float your boat on this one uh i think if we did uh solo leveling i don't want to put guide but maybe solo leveling a blood dk maybe yeah there we go solo oops not oh right hang on one second why are you not showing up in my Oh, right. You're listening to Kill Bill by Suga. Now on Hit Song 2023. Thank you for telling me that. Okay, if that happens, don't worry. I kind of forgot that I have to put um, imaging in, and I want to bring this up. So there he is. If this happens, make sure you are still going to do um, the one thing that I taught, which is going through. But I want these all in caps. Um Oh, shoot. Okay, I pushed a key. They sent us back to black. So I want these back in white. I got caps on, gone. So solo. Uh, LDL. I guess. Love. King. A. Blood. Death. Death Knight, one word I kind of forget. 
Uh, you know what? We could just put DK exclamation point because why not? We're going to highlight this and we're actually going to increase its volume. It's kind of like fill out the rest of the screen. But remember, you don't want to go too much. So we're going to increase it. Can kind of bring this down a bit we're okay to do this and then we're gonna increase the pixels whoa too much we might have to bring this down now when you're grabbing letters you really got to make sure you're uh whoa i got this on the wrong thing i'll move him back um Highlight, oh, dang it, just gotta really highlight these. And we're gonna bring these down. I might bring that down more. And what I'll do is I'll grab the thing here and I'll make sure to grab this. And we'll put it right, right here. Okay. And then just make sure you add to new layer. Oh no, actually we don't need to add a new layer. I kind of forget. With text, you don't have to add to a new layer. Note that. Okay, and then we're gonna go back to background. And we're just going to take a look at it. Uh, we could probably move this back over here. Move our Death Knight over here. Um, still feeling like maybe just like throwing that right there. It feels like it's way too clustered. Yeah. Um. Whoa. Okay, that was my bad. I kind of forget, if you're gonna do anything, make sure you go back to hitting the letter A if you're gonna do these. Um, and then you can have it in bold, no bold, um, italic, underneath. We don't need a straight line. Whoa, hold on. Cancel. Go back to that. Now, there's a little trick I learned and unfortunately, you can't really um, to select the font. You just got to come up here up to the top right corner and you just click the little alphabet and it'll let you select a different font. So real quick, I'm going to I'm gonna do this. I'm going to highlight this. I'm going to go to different fonts. Um, if I collect this, uh, let's take a look like you can even do sim. Um, uh, I want to do, I'm usually a fan of Roman. <clears throat> I want to do something that's a fancy like. Um, oh, shoot. What did I do? There you go. All right. And then you can just copy this and you should just be able to, yeah, there it is. Sometimes it doesn't let you actually look it up, but you can also look it up yourself. Um, and then I want to go back to movement and back here, click on this and we're going to go down. Nope. I'm going to go down in size. Actually, I want to go up in size. And there's a reason I'm going to make this wide. I just had an idea. I'm going to make this wide and I'm actually going to, um, move the image down to just about there and it kind of adds something. So again, another idea, another thing you can do is grabbing this and I believe this was a trick. One of my buddies taught me, which was, um, that's fine. Uh, we're just going to put, oh, there it is. Solo. Okay. So can't see it. It's perfectly fine. We're going to bold it. So I'm going to highlight it. 
I'm gonna bold it. I'm gonna change its color to a red. Okay, so now we have a red kind of an outtake. And I'm gonna enlarge this. Now this is a, we want it kind of a little bit smaller. And then what we'll do is we will take it and I'm gonna just see if I can kind of overlap it but I want this so I know what image style so you, you're, gonna, you're gonna be like whoa what, what the hell happened here um, so I'm gonna copy this and then I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna paste it that's not doing the same thing uh, I like World of Warcraft a lot. Hey, how are you doing? I'm fantastic. I joined a little late. Can you uh, show? Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, can you can you show me how to add text? Perfect. This is this is a basic thing. Yep, got you. But thank you. Yeah, no, uh, gotta go. Well, thank you so much for smooth guys for coming in. Sorry, I just got focused on to this. That was my bad. Uh, this is basic things. Yes, it is. See, I I am a huge believer that you need to learn the basics because if you are coming to something like this, okay, this right here, ladies and gentlemen, th this is garbage this is trash i'm sorry what do you have going on in here i have no this is just an image i pulled off for a thumbnail from somebody you got captain underpants under here you got roblox for roblox number 26 you got hello neighbor like what what is going on there's too much too many things going on in here we don't want that so i'm showing you basic easy things that you can learn um i only took three images a background from one character screenshot screenshot of my actual character took the wrath of the lich king logo and said boom there you go ladies and gentlemen that is that is as simple as you can go um right now i'm trying to get the um lettering to match which for some reason it's not matching um uh, let's go back bold and save tool press uh central press go back to imaging uh so yeah all, all you got to do for lettering is you just go back to this a part highlight an area type in what you want to type mess around with the colors uh i actually love having some background to it but what i'm trying to do right now is get these images to hmm why are you not changing? That's my question. Why are you not changing? Damn it, Yugi. Oh, wait, you know what I might have to do? Hang on one second. Back to lettering, back to touching this. And highlight. Enter, bold, tip and underline. That's what I was missing. I was like, wait, I, I'm doing everything correct. It's the same thing. What am I doing wrong? Oh, that's what I'm doing wrong. And then what I like to do, this is kind of like a little free thing. You add a little flavor, ladies and gentlemen. You don't even gotta like worry about two colors or anything. You can do it yourself. Red, black, whatever you wanna do, except I'm actually gonna flip these and um, I'm gonna, I wanna pull the red. That's what I want to do. I want to pull the red one more time and I will show the white and I kind of want it. Whoa, that was a no, no right there. So right now I'm just going to go ahead and grab this and I want to kind of just bring it out. some, kind of giving a 3d image. There we go. And what I'll actually do is uh, I'll go back to text and See if I can target it. There we go. Nope, that was the wrong one. Okay. Uh, this one. Okay. I'm going to give it a lighter red. Like a way lighter red. What do you think? Let's give it a... Oh, right. Highlight and then give it a lighter red. <laughs> give it a very lighter red. Uh, I want it to be like... Yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, baby. Now that 
beautiful right there all right let's go ahead and take a look we'll just go back to background look at that solo leveling a blood elf dk that is it's it's basics folks i love it by the way joe blocking and smooth jazz hello everybody welcome i'm so happy you can make it uh sorry you guys came in a little late sorry i didn't see it for a quick second please don't be mad with me i'm very sorry um <laughs> i was doing so good too so now we're going to take a look at this now you would think with this this beautiful basic shit that this would be it this is not it because there's the dreadful and most unwelcoming part of my bane of existence and that's zooming out because that is about the size and i know it's really hard to see on the screen versus what i'm seeing but i might increase the lettering um or bring the lettering up more i think i'm going to bring the lettering up more and, and probably increase the i don't know if i can increase it though that's the thing so i don't want to do way too much but i don't want to do too little does that make sense so we'll take the red part out and i will take this and i will see how much more much more I can actually squeeze out of it. Cause I want the full border. Okay, so we're at 112 on white. And I'm going to bring this up a bit. Okay, and then we're going to go to the red. We're at 112. All right, can we... Yeah. All right, 112. What are we at for this one? Oh, wrong one. Nope. Gosh darn it. Get rid of the white then. Um, there we go. All right, so we're at 112, so I want this to, woo, not that, oh, right. Highlight, kid, highlight. I want this to go to at least maybe 111, which should be fine. Um, we'll bring that up, and then I will get the drag and drop tool located on the top right, and we will give ourselves that nice, sombering um kind of effect and it is just kind of tampering around with it um you can use your arrow keys to kind of mess around but it does give you that kind of you know that little shills pop and i don't want to hide it so um i might actually hang on a second i might actually increase it to the same length if not actually i might go higher right highlight oh easy highlight go up a couple okay it's okay if we'll have it a little bit bigger i think that that it kind of gives it more we're gonna see how that that's oh whoa, 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 whoa leveling tool uh yeah no i think we're gonna Uh, I mean that doesn't look too bad but it just does no don't want to listen to that song um, I'm actually going to move this up I'm going to go back here and I'm going to click and highlight and I'm going to bring myself back down to 10 because I think it's at a 112 I think I can make myself 112 I can make myself 112. <laughs> um, back in my day, in my leveling careers, this is the easiest thing in the world. All right, how does that look? <laughs> like trash, Al. Like trash, Cass. Like trash. Kind of giving that nice. I want it just to give it that little bit of pop. A little bit of red coming in, nothing else. Just a little bit of red, you know what I mean? Just a, just a little bit of red uh, coming in. And I think we'll come back down to our background imaging. Um, 
All right. So that looks a lot better. We have our Death Knight. We have our Wrath of Lich King content right there. I don't want to. I blurred the imaging in the back. Looks fan freaking fantastic. So we will zoom out again. And that's about the size that you see on your phone. And that's the other thing. When you're making thumbnails, you want to make sure it's fitting all size. Size from phone to tablet to, you know, uh, your computer to a TV. You know, if it's a TV, it's going to be, you know, huge. If it's a computer, it's going to be me. And if it's a phone, it's, it's really tiny. And I think I can do one more. And that kind of gets that solo leveling of Blood Elf. I know, again, it's hard to see on your screen. Um, but if I zoom in, I mean, guys, gals peoples look at that solo leveling a, a blood dk how like that right there is perfect now what i could do is underneath this i could put live stream i could put part one i could put part two uh, i'm actually a member file and save your stuff okay there's gonna be a reason the reason why we save this is because if you're gonna do a part series, like you wanna do part one, again, you would go over here to the letter A, little A on GIMP. Uh, you would highlight over here, whoa, whoa, a little bit lower than what you already have. And you can write like part one, part two, part three, series one, series two, series three, whatever you wanna put. You know, that is just how easy it is. And, and look, Compare that to this. This is a mangled garbage. This is garbage, guys. Come on. We all can do better. This, what? We've been, how long have we been recording right now? <sighs> Jesus, I don't even know. We've been live for almost two hours. All right, two, two hours. And that's not even counting, like, a, the, the break to getting the phone call from the fam, stuff like that. Like, this right here is so much simpler. <laughs> than this and it's not me hating on someone's work it's don't ever think that but like you got the family gaming team like what is this what is with okay number 26 roblox great captain underpants to hello Neighbor. what what is going what what title are you using this for because there's three four things in here that i have questions on that just doesn't make any sense to me uh and then you got this this is this easy masterpiece, the basics that a lot of people don't know. And I'm telling you, you stick with the basic. You want your thumbnail and your title to match. Please, gods, Ugh. let them match. Okay, if I put solo leveling of blood DK in my title or my thumbnail, I'm gonna have it in my title. Because if most, in per, I'm telling you, most percentage of people do not read what is going on they just are image focused listen we have the expansion exp <sighs> i can't even speak i'm not gonna get frustrated or go on a vent the attention span we all have is about less than a goldfish out freaking time and that's okay that's okay look i have adob okay it's ad Ooh, butterfly okay listen that's how good my memory is oh actually my memory is actually kind of fantastic i have an eidetic memory which is not many people have which is awesome so anyway other than that i i am image pr like prone if i see something i see this i'm like oh man soul leveling a death knight awesome if i put a title soul leveling a death knight wrath of lich king classic no one's gonna really read too much of that title but if they do read the title because maybe they're at work i'm guilty and uh, watching videos sometimes they don't just go off the image but you want it to match if i say solo leveling a blood dk this is simple this is easy this is something someone can look at and go oh okay cool he's playing wrath of the lich king he's playing a death knight and he's going to be solo leveling a blood dk that's awesome when you get stuff like this run <laughs> or even and i'm gonna hit on some roblox man you i'll even pull it back up let's see if i can find it again i think it's at the bottom let me oh here it is here it is hang on or 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 hang on or you have this people i don't love or hate roblox but i'm gonna be a hundred percent honest with you here okay a hundred percent honest this doesn't make any sense how i make thumbnails how i make thumbnails okay that's great do you make them in roblox 
because if you do let me know hey i watch that video but why do you have a roblox character why is there a minecraft background with roblox wording what is with this trim back here i mean this is someone and i have to give it credit i'm not just going to shit on this okay this and and this both took time i want to say it did took time and effort but you really have to think back like even i will look at this and be like is this really what i can do but then i'm remembering this is a live for basics for people to understand the basics of learning a thumbnail grab an image for the background find an image that works in the game maybe get the game's logo or so, I just heard, hey, listen, that's actually pretty funny. Um, get the game's low. So like I said, I have ADOB, ADOB, okay? I have AD, ooh, butterfly, okay? It is a real thing. I've had it since football, okay? So <laughs> grab, an, grab the, maybe the name of it. Put some lettering in it. Don't just, like, this person did a great job. I probably wouldn't have done that big of a blur in the background, but it does make you focus on the characters. Like, that's really the cool thing, that he blurred this, he or she blurred this out. I guess we'll say they they blurred this out put an image in that kind of fixates your eyes but the how i make thumbnails thumbnails is one word <laughs> should have had it a little bit smaller um or take the character out you see what my thumbnail is okay it, you click this live for a reason you see the thumbnail i have how i make thumbnails on gimp okay that literally was me messing around last night saying I want to do a live stream and teach people how to do this. What should I do? And I was getting so frustrated with thumbnail ideas that, and that this popped up and another one popped up. And I said, you know what? I'm just going to do a black screen, white lettering in, in a live stream type thing that I usually do. It's kind of like the trademark there and just do that. And that's pretty much it. So like, you know, you can go from this and this is like, and I'm not gonna lie. This is a nice start. This is a really nice start for somebody um learning you know you can see that they they cut the images they cut the image out they did a really nice job really nice job um preserving what they had in here <laughs> nice emo i love it um i think the lettering is awesome i i don't know how they got that roblox o but that's just freaking awesome but i do think thumbnail needs to be one word um versus this where it just feels like you threw up on it but again, this took time. Like, do you know how hard it is to do a, a image with your face and stuff like that? I can even give a proper, another example real quick. Hang on. I can give a proper example. Where is, where's Ethan Shaw? Where'd I put it? May not be on this one. No, I don't think it's on this one. Uh, pictures save camera images no pictures camera roll Let's see if it's on this one i don't know if it is if it is i'm going to be very shocked but i don't think yeah i don't think i saved it it has been yeah no i didn't save it damn that would have been really nice to have um i had one where i played a game of um just making sure i don't have it because it was actually a really nice really nice uh damn i don't have it okay it's on my instagram i know that um where i was gonna play uh, an ethan shaw game and i thought this is gonna be great and i literally had like a murderous me behind a tree about to kill an old man like but but i can tell this person took some hard work that blending is beautifully done at the neck i know he kind of like looks like he might have just like yeah i'm just gonna do this and yeah i'm just gonna take a part of my head and blend this out stretch this out like beautiful i do give that guy some props i think it is kind of funny but this is just too much too much people and this is just not enough or just it still feels like way too much this is just balanced all right it's it's basic as a joe block a uh, blocking has said uh, this is basic things yes 100% basic things start with a new image 1920 by 1080 take it from there rewatch the live helping it out so what I would recommend to you guys is do research you want to research here actually we'll get to a serious point real quick well actually hold that thought we'll go right back uh, once you're done with your image I'm actually pretty happy with how this came out for all the ones I do, this is actually pretty one. So what you're going to do now is again, you're going to save, you're going to want to save this just in case, and you're going to go to export 
and I'm just gonna leave it as a WoW live stream because this is gonna be used in our live stream. Uh, and you just export. Oh, but hold on. Actually, I'll cancel. The one thing you wanna do is the placement. I have on multiple, oh, I should actually check documents. I have on multiple occasions placed stuff in documents and freaked out because I couldn't find it in my picture folder when I forgot it was in documents. So I actually will export this doc to pictures. Uh, you don't have to really worry about any of this stuff like Adam seven, say the background colors. You don't have to worry about any of this stuff. Um, at least I don't. And I just hit export, wait for the bar to fully load. We're going, we're going on a trip and our favorite rocket ship rubbing through the sky, little Einstein. Okay. <laughs> so actually I want to see now, hang on a second. I, I got to see if I can find that, that one image. Oh yeah. Like, okay, here you go. This is, and I, like I said, I will, I will bank on myself real quick. Um, this was an old style. Like when I first started, this is how I futz around and found out I am a trial by error person. This was my trial by error. Yes or no. Um, I don't even know what I was thinking in this one. Um, trying to see. What was this? Header. When did I save this one? When did I save this one? Right, this is for our Elden Ring before I tore out my hair and wanted to just end my baning existence. And then I got really good at the game. Uh, lightning, yeah, lightning bolt. Ah, here we go. This is it. So the vanishing of Ethan Carter, this was a really fun game. Again, this is something I messed around in. I, I took an image, I made him look sad. I kind of gave the bird some freaking eyes, gave him a teardrop. And like, I had to look up like several different images. I had to take an image of me. I, I didn't even patch my beard in correctly. Uh, had to take a picture of me, cut off the head, kind of came around, but like, this doesn't make any sense, right? Like I, I will hate on my own imaging too. Don't, like, don't get me wrong, this was probably not the best idea. And I did this during a live a long, long time ago. And again, um, <laughs> when it when it came to it. Um, but like even this one, this is the one you guys see. How to make a thumbnail on GIMP. This is basic stuff. Stuff people are losing. People are not understanding that you don't need all this hibbity hoobla in your stuff or this. You just need basic stuff that gets the point across. Blood Elf, Wrathless Game, Soul Leveling, Blood Decay, done. Oh. Now, as I was gonna say, um, so that pretty much covers it. What I will say again, if you want a cliff note and you fast forward this, it's perfectly fine. Or if you're watching right now, cliff notes, the link in the description, if it's highlighted, if not just copy paste it, is to GIMP's website, okay? So you can download GIMP from there. It is a free installation. Okay, free installing. Doesn't cost you a thing. There's no monthly monthly subscription. It's all if you want to just trial. Okay, trial by error. Okay, if there's no tr well, there's no trial. Like there's no trial set up. Don't even need really an account too much. If I remember correctly, I didn't think I set up an account. Um, and you just do that. You just play around with it. Look for images. Come up with a thumbnail. Come up with a title. Then make your video. It just makes it easier. Don't be like me where you kind of just rush into videos because that's what I did. If you guys haven't checked out my shorts, by the way, where I play my skits, by the way, if you haven't met me, my, this is the character Bishop that I play in my skits. <laughs> he's he's the cop. He's, he's Bishop the cop. So he is, he is always fun. Uh, we got more stuff coming. We've got more skits coming out now. Unfortunately, we have to put a hold on the skits. We have to put a hold on a bunch of stuff. We're still gonna be doing some live streams, but we gotta put a hold on some stuff. And if, in case you're just joining me, the reason why is, I don't know if you can see my eye here. I, uh, yeah, I bashed that up pretty freaking good. Uh, shooting a skit. I, uh, I pretty much swung a metal or a wooden, not a metal, a metal stick. <laughs> and it bounced back and got me right in my eye because I was, yeah, uh, pretty much to say that the, it, it, the, it went a little too far. Um, <laughs> I even got it on camera, but I'm not even going to show it because it, it really hurt. Like I am like, Jesus, I gave myself a black eye. So, uh, yeah, so we, we're going to hold off until this heals. 
Um, and that's kind of where I'm wearing the mask right now is because it's really bad that I'm just like, I'm just going to hide my face. Uh, I don't really hide myself. But yeah, so uh, I'm Bishop the Cop pretty much on in this costume. Uh, I have Gen Z Karen. Uh, if you haven't met her, she is the, uh, it's me in a wig with a crop top. So have fun with that. So yeah, if you want to go check out the shorts, have fun. Uh, you can also go check out some other content that's over there. Like my other wild video on how I make easy gold in World of Warcraft. Um, that was a project and a half when I first started doing video editing. So hopefully you guys like it. Uh, if you're liking this, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, and join me in the next live. Like I said, we're going to be playing some World of Warcraft. We're also going to be dropping. Oh, I'm so excited. We're going to be dropping our content creator starter guide. Woo. <laughs> That's going to be coming um, probably at the end of the month because we do have a lot of other videos we're trying to push out and a lot of things that we are still trying to do for this channel. So it is going to be a huge playlist for you guys to go. It's about, I think it's like five or six videos we shot. Yeah, about five, six videos we shot. Um, and I think we have to redo one because I think the audio got cut. So um, it's five or six videos going over the basic things about content creating. I've been doing Twitch for about three, almost four years. And I've been doing YouTube technically since 2020. Actually, I've been doing YouTube since the beginning. Um, but I just didn't focus on YouTube. I When I said I'm going to be a content creator, I went to Twitch. <laughs> and then I said, oh, well... I'm actually having a little bit more fun on YouTube. So I just came over to YouTube. So, um, and that's where I'm at right now. And I think there's a lot of young people out there and a lot of older people out there who just don't, who are trying either way too hard or not enough. And I'm a person that likes to be laid back, chilled. Uh, I like to stream more often than anything. Cause I think what you see is what you get. And I, I, hi, hello, how are we? I'm fantastic. Okay. Um, I love playing games and I love doing skits. So that's pretty much it. We will have a Q&A session. Hey, go over to the community tab. Go over to the community tab right now because uh, over there I have a Q&A session set up for you guys. Um, I'm not going to answer them on the community tab because I'm actually going to be doing a video answering your guys' questions. And that will be on Sunday. I will be shooting the video and Sunday as well. It will be released. If not, latest will be Monday. It just depends on how fast I can do because I do my own editing as well. Uh, and that's the other thing we're going to teach you. We're going to teach you editing. We're going to teach you. Now we taught you thumbnails. We're going to a little bit more advanced stuff too. We're going to teach you uh, editing softwares. Um, I use Shotcut. Very steep learning curve still there, but I can show you the basics. Even how to do shorts. I'm going to throw you to a website that you can use if you use OBS Studios to actually make your shorts easier. Um, there's actually a program you can down, uh, download for OBS. We'll get into that more, but... Yeah, that's pretty much where I think I'm going to end the live, guys. Um, so thank you guys for watching. Like I said, my name is Casfam. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope that you caught got something out of it. And if you got nothing out of it, I'm so sorry. I, I really do. You know, I want you to succeed. I want you to, you know, look at this and say, this is just gorgeous. And stop doing so much to so little. You can do with just four, three, three images and some text getting your point across. Okay. Basic stuff, easy to use. All right. Then you kind of go play around with it, play around with it. That's what I did. All right. Back when I looked like a yutz. <laughs> so, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, you know, would you consider giving this a like? I really would hope. Um, Leave a comment below of what you thought. We will try to clean this up as well. We'll actually put it into long form content for you guys. So do not worry. I know there's a lot of rambling. I know there's a lot of stuff going on, but we'll actually put it into long form content for you. Um, so it's just a little bit easier, you know, than sitting down and watching two hours of a live. I mean, still chatting, you know, <laughs> because we're still chatting. Um, so, yeah. So thank you guys so very much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next live. Like I said, we go live Fridays, uh, generally around like seven, seven o'clock, seven, seven thirty. Uh, we go live. Uh, this time we're going to be playing some uh, gaming. We'll probably be going live again tomorrow as well. Uh, so you know, stay on the lookout for this, this thumbnail right here, okay? Because the next time we go live, we're playing Death Knight, okay? So. If you guys are interested, come over, ring that bell for notifications so you know when I go live or just pay attention to like my little icon and you'll see it blinking live. So thank you guys. I'll catch you in the next video. My name's Kaz and I'll see you later.
Oh, I still don't have an outro. So it's just goes, hit him with the outro. We don't have an outro. Yeah, let's, uh, yeah, I'm done. Bye.